we ran into bears before. Maybe we'll run into a mountain lion. That'd be cool. As long as uh, we don't die. Become bre breakfast for the morning. If you would have asked us separately yesterday, you know, if we wanted to come today, neither one of us would have said yes. <laughs> it's really fun to be out here. But man, when you're really tired and worn out and stuff, and I haven't had much sleep, the thought of going out for 10 miles, let alone 15, getting up early in the morning to do it, isn't always that appealing. We're getting closer and closer and it's just getting bigger and bigger. So Jared's over there deleting footage on his GoPro because he's already recorded too much and he's like having trouble. He's like killing our time. But I'm laying over here in this sweet little creek. I'm laying on top of this little grassy knoll right in the middle of the creek. You can see the reflection in the pool there. This is fun. We're going to on a trail we haven't been on yet. It's easy for me to just tell you guys, yeah, go further. Yeah, go over there, go, go over there. there. <laughs> just go over there. It's, not, it's only a few miles. Yeah. <laughs> so what's, what's the day today? Oh, leap day 29th. Leap day, <laughs> leap, day leap year, February, February 29th. 29th, Saturday morning. Oh. It's about 6.30, 6.45, something like that. We got to the Peralta Trailhead at about a little bit That's before it. 6 o'clock this morning. We've been hiking in the dark. Sun's coming up and we've been hearing this noise like for the last 30 minutes. And uh, Carl's telling me it's a deer. What was he? What's the deer saying? And he's going like, Aah. yeah. He's like saying, stay away from those crazy hikers <laughs> to his friends. So it's like a warning, a warning noise. Yeah. Yeah. Carl's a hunter. I, uh, I, I, I uh, I've done a lot in the outdoors, but I've never done any real, real hunting. But yeah, we've been hearing that noise like for the last, I don't know, half hour. I was like wondering what the, what that was. It's a deer. <laughs> tell him, tell him the other deer, stay away from those guys. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Or maybe, maybe there's a mountain lion and and he's really whining about or yeah. warning him about the mountain lion oh, instead of us or something. Yeah. We've gone just over four miles and um, today we're going to be adding miles to this trail. We're on the, the north, the trail we've been doing, we've done a few times now, the Dutchman 104. But in the behind me, you can see right there, that's the top of Weaver's Needle. We're headed that direction this morning. So that should be pretty cool to see that up close. You can see it from different places, different uh, parts of the highway, I, I guess. Um, I've never been up there, up there close, so that'd be kind of cool. Been <clears throat> taking it easy this morning. Uh, <laughs> Carl got like three hours of sleep last night, and I just got back from California. We went out there to move my parents. Uh, they've, they bought a house in just a few miles away, um, Gilbert, Arizona. And uh, their house they've been living in for 50 years. Oh, it was a lot of work getting them all packed up. I got back 2 a.m. Friday morning. I'm still a little tired and sore from doing that. But this is a, it's a beautiful morning. We're just uh, putting in the miles. I'm not trying to push it too hard today. <coughs> and uh, just kind of enjoying the morning. Carl was just telling me we need to, uh, <laughs> I need to practice my eating for the next couple months, which is true. 
eating while running and making sure you're constantly getting the calories. That's, that's definitely true. That's been my nemesis. I haven't been eating enough. <laughs> Tell them about your foot. Uh, <laughs> What'd you do? So, last weekend I was working on a woodworking project and I dropped a piece of wood on my toe. So, been hurting a little bit, but then today, I hit that same foot right on the rock and it hurts even more than it did. <laughs> Dropping that piece of wood on there. So, every step, you got that uh, little bit of pain just talking to you. And hopefully I don't hit it again, because that hurts when you hit it. It's like stubbing your toe. I bet, I bet his little toe is broken. <laughs> It's like wee 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 all cool the way home. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm wheezing a little bit. I've been wheezing a little bit today. I still am recovering from being sick. You know. I don't think it's the coronavirus. <laughs> because I've never even had I've never even tasted corona. So I mean, how could I get the virus? <laughs> but I've had this respiratory thing for a while now, and um, you know, it's not really holding me back too much today, but I'm still getting over it. It's been several weeks, kind of annoying. But, oh well, what are you gonna do? So we're seeing it's, the, the trail is wet, so we're seeing a bunch of, uh, of um, animal, Prince. We were joking earlier about those deer, you know, warning each other about a mountain lion. And Carl was just saying, hey dude, did you see that cat print? <laughs> so just right back there on the trail, there's a big cat print. So and the only thing it could be is a mountain lion. You know, it's too big, it's too big to be um, a lynx or a bobcat or something. So yeah, mountain lions are up here. Pretty cool. I said it's probably good that we're training when we're tired. Yeah, while we're tired. While we're tired, because that makes it even better. Better training. Because, dude, that's one thing, that's one thing that, uh, in the Grand Canyon, you're basically tired. <laughs> you get tired and you have to keep going. So, the fact that we're both tired today makes us even better, more productive day. Oh, that's so awesome. Springs Trail is where we got to here. Peralta Trail, the trailhead's a couple miles, but we're gonna just head off here, cross this creek one more time, and uh, see, how, see how beautiful that Weaver's Needle is. Weaver's Needle right behind us. Hopefully it's, yeah, Weaver's Needle right behind us. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Look, I don't know how close we're gonna get. We're just gonna circle around. Know. It looks pretty dang rugged right here. Like, yeah. look, like look how down, this, that goes down in the day. Oh, canyon. wow. So I don't know if we're supposed to go down there or if we make a loop up there. Well, it, it looks like the trail curls around. Uh, I yeah, thought yeah. I saw on that map you, you go around it. I think you can, but I thought there was one that went on this side. We didn't miss it, did we? Uh, I don't think so. I don't see any other turnoffs. 
We just met, well, we've been sort of hiking with Aaron, leapfrogging, I don't know. Aaron's hiking this trail as well, and we, we feel like we may have gone too far, and he's like, yep, you missed the, the turnoff. There's a turnoff back there. The short turnoff, but you can never go too far. Okay. So here's, here's the turnoff back here. There's Weaver's yeah. Needle. Now there's another one, right, but not too much further back here, up here. So and that goes around? Up at Black Mountain, yeah. So Aaron told us he's done rim to rim to rim 11 times, right? Yeah, that's where my numbers are. I've crossed the river 11 times. Oh, you crossed the river? <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, wait, wait. I'm like, oh, gonna... okay. So, so four times rim to rim, rim to rim to rim, and then okay. three times south to rim. Down, river, oh, okay. Back. So, Down okay, so rim to river rim to, to rim, rim three times, and then, and then four times rim, rim to rim, rim to, to rim. rim. But always stay. Awesome. Day, so. And then you spend the night at the north rim. Yeah, two nights. Okay. Yeah, which I strongly recommend. So he's, we're, we're trying to convince him to do it all in one day. I, I know, I was cursing you back there. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dang, that's one, one of the <laughs> items I haven't done. I'm like, Is that, dang, is that dang, on dang. your bucket list? It kind of is. So, okay, yeah. awesome. So. Okay, so we went up and over past Weaver's Needle. And some, at some point, this trail is supposed to loop around. But we just keep getting further and further away. I think you might be able to see it in the background. I thought we'd be up closer to it, but I was wrong. It's pretty impressive, but we passed right by it and we're still going there. There's supposed to be a turn up here. And we're starting to kind of wonder if we went the right way or, or what. Now, our friend Aaron back there, he said there's a turn off up here somewhere. So that's what we're looking for. And uh, this is gonna end up being a lot more of an adventure than we bargained for and we decided to come up here and add more miles. <laughs> so, here we go. Well, I mean, we've only gone about nine miles right now, but um, it feels like we've gone a lot more. And it's kind of slow going because um, we're both pretty tired and we've been taking breaks and just kind of taking it easy. It's rocky. it's rocky and steep and just the terrain is incredibly rugged. We met up with Aaron again because we're starting to wonder where in the world are we? <laughs> Don't want to get lost up here. And he's showing us where the turnoff is. Apparently we're just we're not that far away, so then we're gonna head back towards the trail the trailhead. And we end up with probably 15 miles. Well, we'll end up probably more than that, like 18 probably. If you're gluttons for more, you can pass this turnoff, go another 0.8, then do a turnoff with 1.5 and then 0.8. So Let me take a picture of it. That's three extra miles. And it takes around Blacktop Mesa. Looks cool. And if you really glad for the fun, Blacktop Mesa right there. It's right that where that the band one is. That has the the yeah. face on the front. Yeah. And if you're really gluttons, I've done this part. There's a trail that takes you to the top of that. That's spectacular. <laughs> but it's uh, it's not. I mean, it's it's no worse than what you've done. But it's steady, like three quarters of a mile. Have to be next time. Yeah. Yeah. Like a couple next yeah. times. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're, we're it's easy for me to tell you guys. Yeah, go further. Yeah, go over there. Go, go over there. <laughs> Just go over there. It's, not, it's only a few miles. Yeah. <laughs> take a picture of this. So here's the right here. So take a picture of this. This tells where springs are and, and a bunch of other stuff. That's cool. Okay. So uh, Aaron is kind of helping us be a little more confident on these trails. He's got a lot of experience up here. And um, we're starting to wonder if we were going the right way. And don't want to get lost. That, that could be bad news. But we're feeling more confident now because he said, oh yeah, just go over there and turn left and we'll be good. So. so there's Weaver's Needle from this side. We are circling around it, just not like right at the base. I thought we were going to be able to go up to there and touch it. But it's very familiar. You drive up the Beeline Highway, Highway 87 towards Payson from Phoenix. You look over and you can see it. And it looks like this giant monolith from over there. And um, definitely looks pre impressive from here. And I know what's, I know the GoPro is not gonna make it look nearly as good as it is in person, but we should get an idea.
Now, this is the view that I was really hoping for. If you can see Weaver's Needle behind me. Once again, I'm sure the GoPro will flatten it out a little bit, but it looks really impressive from where I'm standing. to the knee pounding, toe slamming downhill part of this. Lots of rocks, steep, and uh, but we're making progress. And uh, it's pretty cool. We're in those rock outcroppings that we always see from the other side. And uh, it's amazing here. But I have to say, I'm, I'm pretty tired. I feel good. I actually feel a lot better than I thought I would. But uh, I'm getting tired. So I'm gonna be glad when we're done. <laughs> we made it. That was a tough one. That took a long time, man. It was uh, it wasn't some easy stuff to keep miles. No, it was hard. That was hard. Yeah, really hard. Hi. Well, we finally got done with our big loop. 17.4 uh, miles. Um, it took about two hours longer than I thought it was gonna take. A lot harder than I thought yeah, it was gonna that be. Was, that was some tough 17 miles up and down, in yeah. and out. Rocky. This way, that terrain. way. Creek Get, beds. Yeah, up and uh, down, up and down. Rocks everywhere. It was good. Um, I felt a lot better than I thought I was gonna feel. Like, I was questioning whether or not you know, how today was gonna go, because I really wasn't feeling well earlier. I was just worn out, tired, but... And I was wondering if I would say, I didn't want to go, but I'm glad we went. I didn't think that I would. But I, I'm really glad we went. Yeah, it was awesome. It was hard. It was beautiful. It was really cool seeing yeah. that, uh, that needle. That needle from that different yeah. angles. And those creeks, the water running everywhere. Mm -hmm. the nice people out there. Yeah, it was great. So, definitely glad that we went. Got to say hi to Madison. Oh yeah, I want to give a shout out to Madison, one of our big fans, watches all the videos. Hi Madison. Hey, see you soon. We'll see you out here hiking with us someday. Yep. I'm also going to give a shout out to Sean. Sean, uh, Sean Gallant, he's been working on training for the Grand Canyon. He's gone up and done rim to rim a few times. He watches the videos a lot. He's got some plantar fasciitis, so it's uh, really putting a damper in his, uh, his training. But Sean, hope you get better soon. And uh, keep on training, man. Keep on working at it. I know we're going to. <laughs> all right, we'll see you all next week. Oh, man. That was, that was good, but tiring. If we had more water, we could do some more. Yeah? More food. Whoa, you hit your head on that cactus. <laughs> so we started this morning. It was about 44 degrees, something like that. Uh, I don't know what the temperatures are right now, but it's definitely warming up. It's the last day of February, and uh, just had to put on my air conditioning. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen any other videos, but I wear this, this uh, handkerchief bandana around my neck. You get that wet, you wear it around your neck, and it cools down these big arteries on the side of your neck, and that cool blood goes through your system. It's like being a water cooled, kind of a, in a way. Got my hair wet, got my hat wet, and man, it makes you feel good. So that's what that handkerchief is for, for air conditioning. And it works, works, it works really, really well.